Fanatics has been revealed to be the new jersey manufacturer for the NHL. Is this a good or bad thing? Let's find out. Hey hockey fans, welcome back to another video. So, recently I actually have not been making any news videos and it's pretty obvious why um, I actually have decided to stop streaming altogether for the season and everything. And it's also kind of carried over a bit into my news videos as well because I've gotten, I've honestly gotten really busy this year and, you know, my, uh, my job has gotten... Uh, me into this really weird schedule and everything so it's been really really hard to come home get in front of the computer and do all that so um yeah but anyway so in today's video um actually while I was at work speaking of work I actually saw a news article about the New Jersey manufacturer for the NHL after the 2023 through 24 season so this is for a lot of you who have been following the NHL. Um, this is probably already old news, but Fanatics has, of of all the companies has been chosen to be the new supplier of the jerseys for the NHL. Now I'm going to go over a couple of things here. Um, I'm going to talk about you know the. Uh, their history and what their current relation is with the NHL. Um, I'm going to talk about, uh, you know, Adidas and what I think about this. And um, also, is this, would this be a, what would be a good thing and what would be some bad things that come out of this? Okay, so... To start this off, Fanatics has been a really, it, it, they've been kind of a weird brand when it comes to making the NHL jerseys. They have actually been the replica jersey manufacturer for the NHL since 2017. So what's really interesting here is that they they actually like with the replica jerseys they actually designed this kind of like how Reebok made the premieres I actually have this uh, replica Nashville Predators Fanatics jersey on right now they kind of made this as a cheaper option compared to the the Addy 80 jerseys the Adidas 80 jerseys and There's somebody walking into my room right now. Yeah, I hope so. And so we have Brian here on the scene who just uh, sort of interrupted. But um, I was just going over uh, the history of Fanatics in the NHL stop. So, what, you, what? first of all, before we go on any further, what do you think about the um new deal i think they should have gone with nike honestly like every other major <laughs> brand has yeah nike it dominates the mlb uh nba and nfl so i guess they went oh we gotta be different and they didn't pick adidas again so they were like fanatics <laughs> yeah <laughs> so it yeah it is kind of really interesting but they already do have that deal with uh the nhl so you know it Kind of could work, but at the same time, people are already really upset about it, so... Yeah, well, I mean, I see why they did it, because they're different than everyone else. Yeah. But I was just going to come in and give my two cents on it. I'll let you finish. Okay. Goodbye. Are you, are you going to come back, or are you just going to... Oh, I'm going to bed. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. I just wanted to go in and talk about it. Alright, uh, yeah, but... Anyway, it is actually very late for uh, this video, but... um. Fanatics, uh, like I said, has been the uh, replica jersey manufacturer of the NHL since 2017. And people have already been complaining about the quality of the jerseys. And 
For me, actually, it really hasn't been much of an issue for me. There are some very, very obvious differences between the Adidas Authentic jerseys or the uh, retail jerseys and the replica jerseys. I actually do have the um, couple of jerseys behind me. Um, I'm going to talk about those in just a minute. Um, so, yeah, a lot of people are very upset about that, and um, it's kind of, it is a really interesting thing when you do put that, um, you know, a, it's kind of a shocker, really, that, you know, you kind of, you gotta make the replica jersey manufacturer as the official maker of the jersey, so, um, interestingly enough, though, um, you know, Adidas has been kind of historically known to put like a two-year, um, they kind of give a two-year notice like ahead of time to let everybody know that like, hey, there's going to be a new manufacturer on the line. So I think it's kind of to give people um, or them time to kind of look through or explore their options and whatnot. So yeah, well, anyway, we have, I got this. Vegas Golden Knights jersey right here and I think I should just put it off to the side to be honest and stuff gone over to my bed to get it but anyway so this one I've actually had I think since 2018 and obviously there's a lot of obvious differences here but there's also some really interesting things going on here so one thing about this jersey is the overall quality of this is that this is not designed to be like a heat dissipation material or anything like a sweat dissipation material like the authentic jerseys this kind of feels like it feels rather thick it almost feels like a sweater to be honest and really for warmer weathers that actually does feel pretty nice when it comes to it but also the cut to this jersey isn't exactly the same either it feels a bit tighter too um, and the material to it is very different as well. Um, so the customization you'll actually notice is, um, this kind of weird, almost reflective material on the back of it. Um, not exactly my favorite thing about this and, ooh, holy cow. This is actually kind of falling apart. It's getting a little frayed around the number right here. I don't think I've ever noticed that. That's interesting, but anyway, so if anybody if anybody's been following my channel lately, if you've seen my video about like these jerseys or anything like that, you'll I, I I'm I, if you go back and look at one of those videos, I'll actually go into full detail about these because there's a lot of differences when it comes to these jerseys. Um, but yeah, it's this uh, material here actually on the numbers. It's almost like reflective, and I remember back when I made that video, um, I explained that it kind of was like that reflective material you see on like roadside um, vests or some of those neon vests and everything. You kind of have that reflective material on it so that uh, if a car passes by or something, it'll shine off and it'll see it, and y you get the idea. Um, yeah, and the secondary patches on here are just this image that's screen printed onto a patch as opposed to actually being like sewn on or anything like that. It's just kind of like, it's just screen printed onto there. So that's also um, a little bit of a cheap quality issue. So, um, but yeah, um, speaking of which, these home... Vegas Golden Knights jerseys, the gray jerseys, have actually been replaced by the gold ones. And the gold ones actually, um, this is going to be a little off topic, but the gold ones have actually replaced these jerseys as the home jerseys. And I'm actually thinking I'm probably going to have to jump onto the, uh, the fan train and get one of these in the Adidas version of it uh, before stock runs out and then like everybody starts selling them for crazy prices and everything 
Um, also, another difference is that the uh, NHL shield on here it is just a patch on here. It is not a the Chronoflex one like the Adidas one. And I'll show you guys that in just a minute when I get to my Adidas thing. But uh, yeah, you'll notice it is just glued onto the uh, collar insert right here. And um, one thing about the jersey I'm currently wearing, it's actually been through the washing machine a couple of times, and this one's already peeling off. So yeah, it's only a matter of time before this one does. And I really wish that they would have actually sewn this on. To be honest, but yeah, there's um, there's quite a bit of differences. I'm I'm not gonna go through all of them, but yeah, that's just a couple of the differences I see. Again, not a terrible design, obviously, but they could do better. Um, also, still they are better than any fake jersey manufacturer I have ever ever seen out there. Fake jerseys are a big no-no for me. So yeah, but yeah, this one I actually haven't had or I haven't worn for a good while, so I might actually put it on uh, one day, but it is getting into the spring, the spring season here. And yeah, I don't know how that I'd fare with that because um, when it gets to spring and summer, in my area at least, we end up reaching um, upper 90s uh, degrees and everything. It, it, it just gets really ridiculous with the temperature, but yeah, so that is the Fanatics jersey, and now we're going to move on with the Adidas one. So, alright, so Adidas. We're going to go ahead and talk about them real quickly before I talk about my Calgary Flames jersey. So, back in, I think it was, it was 2017 too, um, Adidas shocked the world with the new NHL jerseys, and I remember back then, everybody in the NHL, like just about everyone, just mocked them for the fact that they looked like pajamas almost like literally it, it was kind of weird at first because nobody could really take the fact that like these were like almost like really like they were kind of reformed really um and they the the whole collar design and everything nobody really liked that to be honest but for me, that's actually kind of grown on me. I really love the Reebok design, and um, I actually preferred that over the Adidas design. One thing that really sold me was the Chromaflex NHL logo, and this was actually a big selling point for me because I've never, like, this is just not something you see every day on clothing. It's like this... It's just a silver piece of like rubberized plastic on here. It makes it feel very, very premium. I love it. That was one of the biggest selling points for me when I bought my first Adidas jersey. And, you know, honestly, as time has gone by, they've actually done a very, very good job of designing these jerseys. And to be honest, I, I never thought I'd find myself saying this, but... I actually think Adidas, like, Adidas has actually come across as one of the best jersey manufacturers in the NHL. They made some, they surprised everybody with their jerseys. They, um, they made some really good designs and, uh, they even had some good lines with, you know, they surprised everybody with the special jerseys like the Winter Classic, the Heritage Classic, and Stadium Series jerseys as, long, as well as the Reverse Retro lineup too, and all those other jerseys and everything. It's just like, it's, it was just like, wow. Like, and now I'm kind of looking back at this and really I'm, I'm kind of looking at this and it feels almost like yesterday that Adidas announce these jerseys and like it's crazy and now you know <laughs> I honestly I'm just kind of rambling to be honest but like honestly I can't really find anybody who thinks that these jerseys 
are really bad in the NHL now. It it's just crazy how how great they've done, considering that they are more of a soccer brand than they are of hockey. But they they've really surprised me and a lot of other people. But anyway, um. So, as I was saying before, you can see there's actually a couple of things that Fanatics used from these jerseys as well, as well as the neckline. And, yeah, you can kind of see how it, like, fits. Um, you got, um, like I said, the material in this jersey, you can see it is a bit more moisture absorbing, or it's a bit thinner to allow some you know, extra cooling and everything, and you can also see some, like, almost, like, mesh in the undercut right here for the sleeve, everything, and as I said before, you can see these, um, the customization on this is sewn on as well, um, I don't know if you can see that in the actual camera, but you can see it's not a, uh, it's not, um, good grief. It's sewn on, but it's not like screen printed. There we go. Good lord, I, I am losing my mind today. And yeah, they they've just done such a good job with designing these jerseys and everything. And it it's been quite an adventure with them. Um, obviously, um, you know. Then, then they also did have the lawsuit and everything. I think that's a bunch of bull crap because, I mean, you know, we we are now on to the point where, you know, Fanatics is now the jersey manufacturer. You might as well just be screaming at the NHL right now saying, Why did you pick Fanatics now? Because they're worse quality and everything. Oh, man. How the tables have turned, to be honest, with that one. But yeah, all right, so where was I? All right, so, you know, there are, um, my thoughts on this are, there, there, there's a couple things that could be coming out of this, to be honest. Um, so, you know, so one thing I did actually point out, um, or I'd like to point out is the fact that I was watching a video from post to post um, back when, once again, uh, they were having the lawsuit with Adidas and everything, and uh, he pointed something out where on, I think it was on the Reebok jerseys, it said that it was made to the exact specifications of the NHL. So one thing I would actually like to point out is that that means that it doesn't mean um, it doesn't mean that it is the exact thing that the players wear on the ice, but it means hey, it means um, Adidas or God. So the NHL pretty much is saying we want you to make. The jerseys like this and then and this is how you have to make it and you can't make it any other way that's pretty much what they're saying so one thing I would like to get out of that is the fact that when it comes to making the jerseys we probably don't have to worry too much about this because the NHL is saying they have full control over the jersey manufacturing process. And so they're going to tell Fanatics, hey, we want you to make the jerseys like this. And can't make it any other way. It's got to be like this. Fanatics doesn't have control over it. They are going to go over to their factory and say, and they are going to make the jerseys just like that. So that is um, so that that's something I'm hopeful for. Um, another thing that I am also hopeful for is so as I was talking about how the NHL shield on the jerseys, um, 
they people are actually wanting the Chrome Flex logos to remain on the jerseys or to be improved upon. And that is also something I am hoping for there too. But with Fanatics, this could actually be a good thing because one thing I've actually noticed is that they have actually been making these they've kind of, they've been making the lines of authentic uh, pro wear or whatever like locker room wear and stuff like that on their website and everything and one thing I have actually noticed is that they also do include the chromaflex logo even though the uh, even though Adidas has had just about no influence on it whatsoever. In fact, this hat I am wearing right here, this is actually the Nashville Predators Reverse Retro 2.0 jersey or 2.0 hat. So it's got it's got the logo on it, and um, this is actually going to be a little different. But um, this has the this is a Fanatics product. But you'll also notice, um, this is a little bit different, but it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, this is the technically the Chromaflex logo on here, but it's the uh, orange logo. So, um, yeah, this actually is not an Adidas hat. This is 100% Fanatics right here. So I'm thinking that there is actually some... Um, there is actually some, like... They had some deal with that sort of patent, uh, correct me if I'm wrong with that, or if anybody knows anything about that, ooh, yeah, fit that onto my head, um, okay, that's weird, okay, why won't this sit straight, there we go, um, correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I'm, I'm hoping that, um, the NHL will, allow Fanatics to keep that, or Adidas will allow Fanatics to keep that, um, so yeah, that, that's just kind of my thoughts on it, so, might not to be too terrible, but at the same time, like, it is kind of scary to think about, because, then again, you could have something similar to this, and they might actually backpedal on a couple things, and they might just keep the whole, um, they might even keep the NHL patch thing, which, I mean, there's nothing entirely wrong about that. Like, they, you know, with the NHL patch, I mean, you could probably just have no patch at all, really. But um, when you're kind of doing that, it kind of feels like you're going to, if Fanatics does this, it feels like they might, it kind of feels like they're backpedaling a bit. And then going back to the Reebok era of NHL jerseys. And I hope that they don't do that because then it just feels like we're going backward in time with it. So I'm hoping that they will be able to do something good regarding that little NHL logo and the jersey as a whole. Alright, so... Um, yeah, I actually kind of went over um, what's good and what's bad really right there in that whole little lineup right there <laughs> um but yeah as i said you know it could be good could be bad really um but yeah i'm hoping it's either that fanatics may sort of keep the same formula as far as things are concerned or they might completely change up the game and their replica jerseys as well. Um, they might even completely redesign the replica jerseys too. Nobody knows for sure, but it would be cool to see them at least make a little bit of an upgrade to them. And people might accept that a bit more. Um, so that actually might be a good thing that comes out of it, really. Um... Uh, what else was I going to say? I had something else in my mind on this. Um, but yeah. Oh, uh, God. I, I had something else on my mind that I was thinking about. But I cannot think about it right now. I, I, I can't. I can't remember it. Um, you, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, 
as I said, you know, they might they might redesign the jerseys or they might keep it similar. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, now I remember what I was just thinking about because uh, I, yeah, I, I as I said, I'm actually getting really tired making this video, but. Uh, so, I did read a news source earlier, and they said that uh, Fanatics will actually be using some of the materials that Adidas has also used in their manufacturing to help manufacture the jerseys, as well as the same facilities to manufacture the jerseys as well, so... My thoughts are that it may end up being just about the same as the Adidas jerseys, or they might change it up just a little bit. Maybe we might even get something interesting, and like they might do something kind of like what Reebok did with the Reebok piping that went around some of the jerseys for them, too. And maybe, hey, we might get a new Nashville Predators jersey design, because the ones that Adidas did apparently sucked. So, you know... So, yeah, that's, um, that, that's really just kind of my thoughts on it, and, you know, what I think is maybe good or bad that comes out of it, really, but, um, yeah, that, that's gonna do it for today's video, um, sorry that, uh, like, I, I kind of got a little off topic there at the end, but, um, yeah, um, Anyway, make sure to hit that like button, also subscribe as well, it will greatly help out the channel and will be greatly appreciated. But, other than that, have a good rest of your week everybody.